Live Super Doppler 4 HD, our very own radar scanning our area, picking up on a few storms. A very heavy one right now over Pickens County. Torrential rain and a tremendous amount of cloud to ground lightning all around Pickens, Easley, Dacusville, Pumpkin Town, and this settling just on the east side of Kiwi and Hartwell right now. Let's get in closer and show you this. Look at all that lightning covered up across Pickens County, and notice a few of those strikes extend out over Lake Kiwi, so please be careful. Don't take any chances or get out on the boat right now across the lake. This lightning way too close. Close. You can see how some of them extend well out ahead of that rain. So as we get in closer here, you can see there's Joe Cassie, there's Lake Kiwi nine times down 133 just covered up with some rain right now and a lot of lightning. This is pushing towards six mile down 183 Liberty covered up with some rain and some lightning right now that pushes into easily as well. So this uh, little area here, uh, seeing the brunt of it, we'll try to push into Anderson County. If it can hold together, it'll be in central at 551 uh, the Pendleton area by six and then Sandy Springs by about 604. More rain trying to fall apart here across Tacoa and Stevens County, pushing toward Martin and then eventually Franklin County. Look at the haze and smoke across our Paris Mountain Sky Cam. Even hard to make out downtown Greenville. That smoke is so thick out there today. Any given on any of our given sky cams across the area for Asheville down to Spartanburg on over toward Anderson. Uh, just a gray look to the day because of that smoke. And in fact, that western wildfires breaking out back toward the west will continue to pump smoke our way because it billows up and gets into the jet stream. I do think we'll see it tomorrow and then again on Sunday. It may take until Tuesday for it to completely wash out of our area. So it's 89 right now in Greenville, 90 in Spartanburg, flirting with that 90 degree mark and we'll do it again tomorrow. Starting off at about 70 degrees first thing tomorrow morning and then hour by hour warming quickly into the 80s and then we'll eventually get close to 90 with a pop up storm chance by the afternoon. Not everybody's going to see them, but those of us that do lightning will be a concern. Lower 80s in western North Carolina for the afternoon eventually getting up to around 85 or so. But here's the feels like temperature, not too terribly high with humidity this weekend, but look what happens by Sunday into Monday. The feels like temperature starts to go up closer to 95 and then 96. And then look what happens as we get into Tuesday with extra humidity. It's going to feel like closer to 100 degrees in the southern parts of the upstate. Mighty toasty. Your tropical update for the day. We've got high pressure across a good bit of the uh, Atlantic, which is causing sinking air in the atmosphere. Also some very dry air kind of prohibiting much development across a good part of the uh, tropics. However, we have a frontal boundary that has settled across the southeast right here, and that's what we look for this time of the year. This spin is a high pressure. That's good. This spin is going counterclockwise. That's bad. This is a very wimpy and weak low pressure system. In fact, there's not much thunderstorm activity at all around it, but this low is over very warm waters, and it could get its act together. The National Hurricane Center now giving this a 40% chance at becoming Fred this weekend. Fred, if it forms, will likely kind of meander here. Pushing south may give Florida some rain. Boy, it's been hot in Florida. Feels like temperature right now in Orlando 105 near Mickey's house. This thing goes over the uh, the Florida state as we go over Florida into the Gulf uh, as we go into early next week, just kind of meandering as a weak low pressure system. I don't expect anything alarming out of this, but it's something to keep an eye on. I don't think it'll impact the Carolinas. You can see what may become Fred kind of meandering to our south. We will have pop up storms this weekend. Our greatest impact here comes on Tuesday from a backdoor front that comes in from the northeast. You see some extra rain coming in on Tuesday that our highest chance for rain for quite a while. Let me show you the four day plus right now. 90 degrees tomorrow, 91 on Sunday, just a hit or miss thunderstorm this weekend. Then we're back to the lower 90s with better rain chances Monday and Tuesday because of that front coming our way. Then we dry out and we heat up 94 by Thursday. I really don't see a good soaking after that for quite a while. In western North Carolina, same story, mid to upper 80s with a better chance for rain Monday into Tuesday.